good, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, and today I want to cook up like a soulful hip hop type of beat. I'm not exactly sure where I want to go with this beat. You got like an idea for a chord progression. I don't have any artists like in particular in mind. So basically, I'm just going with the flow and let's see what happens. Hopefully, this comes out dope. So I want you guys to sit back and relax and hope you all enjoy this beat making video. Let's go. All right, guys, so for the base of this track, I loaded up addictive drums. I found a simple drum loop with some hi-hat with a snare. Um, some open hats and stuff like that, very simple. And basically it's gonna be like the foundation of this track. Just something to get me started. The main focus is gonna be, I got the SRX keyboards loaded up with Roland, as you see right here on the screen. And this preset is called The Real Thing and it's an electric piano. I want something really smooth sounding. Let's go and try to lay this down. That's smooth. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a wind chime in there also. Now next I wanna layer this with actually some notes on top of that. And I could have did that with the electric piano using the SRX keyboards, but I love the sound of addictive keys. So I got the Mark One put up right here on the screen. And this is one of my favorite go-to electric pianos and it's called the Crystals. And for this I will be using the sustain pedal. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Super smooth. Let me raise this up a little bit. So next I want to go ahead and lace this track with a string. And for the strings, as usual, I'm using Hollywood Strings by East West. And uh, yeah, let's try to keep this simple and let's get this going, guys. sound too bad. I'm still trying to figure out where this track is headed to. Don't know, but yeah, so far we got a pretty decent start. All right, guys, let's go ahead and throw a bass line in there. And for the bass, we will be using a Rickenbacker bass by Native Instruments. And we're going to simply follow along with this melody. And uh, yeah, I think this should definitely wake this track up. Probably could do some no switching arranging right here. But it don't sound bad though. All right guys, so as of late, one of my like go-to VSTs is Serum. Now I've had Serum for such a long time and I rarely, rarely ever used it, but just as of late, I've been using it so much more a lot and today we're gonna be using it once again. This is a sound that I downloaded straight from Splice. And I think this is definitely gonna add like a different dynamic uh, to this track, so let's go and lay this down. Turn off the oscillator B. It takes out that bass. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it in there or not, but for now, I'm gonna just let it go ahead and rock in there. So I'm not really like a big horn guy, especially when it comes to VSTs, because a lot of the VSTs, they don't really emulate that horn sound correctly, so I tend to stay away from them. But today, I wanna go ahead and add a horn in this track. And if you take a look right here on the screen, I got the SRX World put up and rolling, and this is called the Wide Brass. And I'm gonna simply do a couple notes like this. So let's go ahead and lay this down.
this track is going, I want to go ahead and just throw an upright piano in here since it's kind of got that soul vibe to it. So right here, I got Addictive Keys pulled up. I got the front stereo modern upright. So we're going to go ahead and lay down and basically layer those uh, chords which we laid down earlier. <laughs> Probably one of the nicest sounding modern uprights as far as a VST. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and throw some vocals in this track. And for the vocals, I will be using Arcade, and this is the Jukebox vocals. Now, what I really like about the Jukebox vocals is they really tend to that soul vocal sound. And this is actually a new one, I believe. It's called Her Feelings. I just downloaded a few seconds ago. And uh, yeah, it's some vocal chops in here that I'm probably go ahead and use. Oh, oh, oh. render that down and then I'm gonna pick out probably another vocal anybody out there anybody out there listening hear my call hear my call anybody out there listening hear my That sound fire. All right, guys, so you know what time it is. Time to get this track a rain. Probably add like a little drum loop on top of it. I think so far it sounds super dope, but let's hop back into it so you guys can check out what this finished product is going to sound like. Let's go. So that wraps up this beat making video. I do hope you guys enjoyed that. As you guys can tell, I pitched it down a few semitones. When I pitched it up, I just didn't like the way it sounded. So I decided to go ahead and you know pitch it down a few semitones just to kind of see what it sounded like. And it sounded much more natural to me. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this beat making video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you do because I will be coming back with another beat making video once again. I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man Big Boy Tracks right here at the Producers Life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.